And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The kingdom of darkness used the beast system to destroy the image and reputation of the Most High by turning the whole world against the people he created in his likeness. Attacking the people made in the image of the Most High is a direct attack against our Creator. David said in a psalm that he counted the enemies of the Most High as his enemies. The workers of iniquity in the beast system indoctrinate the people to believe the Most High does not have enemies. They want to make it appear as if all people love the Most High and serve the Elohim of Israel. That is false. If everyone loved the Most High, idol worship would not be at an all-time high. In addition, Satan would not be the God of this world. When you transgress the laws of the Most High, you become an enemy to the Most High. Psalm 139 verse 21 revealed that King David hated the enemies of the Most High with a perfect hatred. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Out of his creation, the Most High selected a group of people that descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, a peculiar people to represent him in the world. Through the behavior of his chosen people, the other nations would look to the Most High as their God. The book of Genesis said the Most High made man in his image and likeness. Black people are the original people making them the only species of mankind made in the image and likeness of the Most High. Indigenous black people are the blueprint to the human species. Remember, there are two groups of mankind. Satan has an obsession to be like the Most High. Satan said in his heart that he would ascend into heaven and exalt his throne above the stars of the Most High. Satan said he would sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Satan proclaimed that he would be like the Most High. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Satan made it his mission to erase everything pertaining to the Most High and his people in the physical realm to replace with his seed and himself as God. Israelites, it is important that you understand the root to everything is in the spirit realm. What we see in the physical realm, the flesh, is the manifestation of what is taking place behind the scenes in the realm of the spirit. The Most High urged his people to not look at the seen things, but the unseen. The book of Revelation said Michael and his angels fought against Satan and his angels. Satan lost the battle. As a result, he was cast out into the earth. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The war between Satan and the Most High manifests in the flesh in the form of enmity between the two species of mankind the scriptures speak of. The Bible called the enmity between the two species a perpetual hatred. The Most High said he would put enmity between the woman's seed and the serpent's seed. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. 
The two different species of mankind are a representation of the conflict between the two kingdoms at war. Since Satan lost the war, there was not a place found for him in heaven. He was cast into earth. The scripture says Satan roamed the earth looking for people he could devour. The scriptures also said that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked and Satan was cast down to the earth, Satan became the god of this world. The beast system is Satan's kingdom in the flesh. The scriptures reveal that the Most High's kingdom is not of this world. The people that belong to the Most High are living among their enemies in the beast system. The beast system represents the kingdom of darkness. That is why the serpent seed are in control. Satan's kingdom operates in the flesh, while the Most High operates in the spirit. The scripture said the flesh and the spirit are contrary to each other, making it impossible to serve the most high in the flesh. The indigenous black peoples must look within to serve the most high in the spirit and in truth. You cannot please the most high in the flesh. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. The other species of mankind are running every nation, even if they're not the president or the leader of one of the recognized countries in the beast system. Behind the scenes, they are controlling the leaders of that nation. If the other species of mankind were not controlling the leaders of the indigenous black nations, presidents like John Magafuli, Haiti's president, Jovenel Moise, and the countless other leaders would still be here if they complied to the elite's mandates. The Bible said the serpent seed are murderers from the beginning. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Like their father, the devil, the other species of mankind are obsessed with the indigenous black people. The serpent seed used their father's beast system to steal, kill, and destroy. Like Satan, the other species of mankind are trying to replace the indigenous black people with themselves. They spent many generations erasing black people's legacy and taking their identity. They imitate the indigenous black people's culture and claim the culture for themselves. The two species of mankind are a representation of their fathers. The indigenous black people are made in the image of the Elohim of Israel, and they represent the most high. The serpent seed, the children of the watchers, are made in the image of the watchers. The watchers wanted to imitate the most high by creating children in their image and likeness. And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men and beget us children. If the people made in the image of the Most High are the same with the offspring of the angels, the watchers should have seen an image of themselves when they look at the human species the Most High created. Because they did not see their image and likeness in the indigenous black people and lust has taken over them, they decided to create children that resemble themselves. The children of the watchers have a mortal body like their mothers and their spirit is of their fathers. Today, we live in a society that proclaims we are all the same and we are all humans, despite the other species of mankind having Neanderthal DNA. Because there are many hybrids among us and our spirits is hidden in the human body, the corrupt seed of the serpent are identified by their behavior as well as their image. When the watchers began to take the daughters of men for wives and bearing children, the earth became corrupt and sin and violence increased. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. The Most High destroyed the earth with a flood to destroy the corruption on earth. The spirit of the children born to the watchers and the daughters of men did not die. Their earthly body died, but their spirit remained. 
your spirit do not die. The Bible revealed to us that when a person died, their spirit is separated from their human body. Whereas the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Your spirit is the real you. The reflection you see in the mirror revealed the image of your Elohim and the reflection of the body that protects your spirit in the physical realm. Remember, the indigenous black people are made in the image of the Most High. Your spirit is invisible. Israelites, it is important that you comprehend that spirits are invisible. Despite the Most High destroying the seed of the fallen, their spirit continued to live. Just like us, when we die, our spirit returned to the Most High while our body returned to dust. The spirit of the children of the watchers continued to live. That is why they are found in every generation, including this generation. The Bible said their dwelling would be on earth because they are flesh and spirit. In addition to their dwelling being on earth, the scriptures said they would be violent, cause offenses, and persecute the children of men. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth and on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle and work destruction on earth and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women because they have proceeded from them. Since the earth is the dwelling place for the spirit of the children of the fallen, the scripture said they would torment, act violent and cause trouble. The earth should have evidence of the seed of the fallen dwelling in every generation. The Bible said, let the word of the Most High be true and every man a liar. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. There is only one group of people among us that have taken over the world with violence. They have a history of displaying diabolical behaviors. These people refuse to allow the indigenous black people to live in peace. The other species of mankind and all their subgroups are constantly attacking the indigenous black people all over the world. The other species of mankind have never been civilized. They are privileged in the beast system and they have a history of stealing, killing, and destroying everything they encounter. These people have the same spirit as the seed of the fallen. In addition, their behavior are identical to the behaviors of the seed of the fallen. Remember, by their fruits, you would know them. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. A rotten tree cannot produce good fruits. Regardless of how the serpent seed conceal their wickedness, the darkness in them will overtake them. We have seen their violence increase throughout history. Israelites and indigenous black people, the time has come for you to end the one-sided love affair you have with the other species of mankind. When you crossbreed with the serpent seed, your children obtain a corrupt spirit. When the Israelites do not follow the law of transferring your bloodline to your offspring, your bloodline is cut off and your seed becomes spoiled. The time has come for you to understand the spiritual. The scriptures made it known it takes two of the same kind to reproduce itself. You shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee. You cannot duplicate yourself when you crossbreed with the other species of mankind. The children born from these union do not look like you, and majority of the time these children despise you. Remember the enmity? The population of the serpent seed increased through the abominable union with the strange men and women. The scripture said Satan planted the tares among the wheat. The scripture said the reason the Most High do not eliminate the tares if the Most High uproot the tares, some of the wheat would be harmed. The Most High decided to allow the wheat and the tares to grow together. When the end comes, the Most High will separate the tares to destroy them. He said unto them, 
an enemy hath done this. The servants said unto him, Wilt thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares, and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. If you analyze the tares, they resemble the wheats. However, the tares have features that are differentiating them from the wheats. The only resemblance the indigenous black people and the serpent seed share is the earthly body. Although we have an earthly body that do the same things, the two are completely different. From the skin color to hair texture, DNA and the spirit are very different. The spirit in your children with the serpent seed are unclean spirits. The scriptures in the book of Jubilee refer to the spirit of the fallen as evil spirits and demons. Noah revealed this information to us when the spirit of the children of the watchers were tormenting his children. Noah prayed and in his prayer, Noah revealed the watchers or the fathers to the unclean spirits tormenting his children. And in the third week of this jubilee, the unclean demons began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah and to make to error and destroy them. And the sons of Noah came to Noah their father, and they told him concerning the demons which were leading astray and blinding and slaying his sons' sons. But do thou bless me and my sons, that we may increase and multiply and replenish the earth? And thou knowest how thy watchers, the fathers of these spirits, acted in my day. And as for these spirits which are living, imprison them and hold them fast in a place of condemnation. And let them not bring destruction on the sons of thy servant, my God. For these are malignant and created in order to destroy. Remember, your spirit is the real you. If a spirit living in an earthly body comes from the seed of the fallen's lineage, that would make that person a member of the serpent seed. In addition, not human. Israelites, do not be deceived by the outward appearance. Just because the spirit has a human body, this does not conclude the spirit comes from the human species created by the Most High. The scripture said, test their spirit to see if they're of the Most High, because there are many hybrids among us identifying as humans and they are not. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Israelites, don't be afraid to test their spirits. I hope you're beginning to see how principalities are living among us and controlling certain regions of this world. Principalities are high-ranking demons. I hope you are beginning to understand how Satan roamed this earth. Israelites, the outward appearance reflect the kingdom the spirit within represents. For example, the indigenous black people who decide to follow the kingdom of darkness will continue to look like the most high. However, they open themselves up to corruption. The spirit of the most high become dormant in them and unclean spirits inhabit them. The human body can be inhabited by multiple spirits. The man in the tombs is a good example of multiple spirits living in a person. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I adore thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. When an indigenous black person becomes possessed, he or she suffers spiritual death. Unclean spirits is occupying him or her, and the individual is now controlled by the kingdom of darkness. The beast system would label a person who suffers spiritual death to having a mental illness. The behavior of the indigenous black person will begin to imitate those from the kingdom of darkness. The other species of mankind will have an evil spirit and their appearance will be like the children of the fallen. The book of Enoch describes in detail the seed of the fallen's appearance. 
Because the children born to the watchers were created in sin, the Most High has nothing to do with the offspring of the watchers. And I, Enoch, answered and said to him, The Lord will do a new thing on earth, and this I have already seen in a vision and made known to you. For in the generation of my father, Jared, some from the heights of heaven transgress the words of the Lord. And behold, they commit sin and transgress the law and have been promiscuous with women and commit sin with them and have married some of them and have begotten children by them. Not all people are of the Most High. The spirit of the Most High is not with the serpent seed. That is why the Most High put enmity between the two seeds. Israelites, stop letting the resemblance deceive you. They appear human, but they are not human. For many years, the workers of iniquity have taught you in the beast system that we are all humans. Their outward appearance says otherwise. Their DNA also testify against them. The Most High is not extreme when he said the children born from abominable unions are not to enter his congregation. Not even to their 10th generation could they enter. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Israelites, you must ask yourself, why these children born from the abominable unions share the same enmity for you like the seed of the serpent? In addition, these children are promoted in the beast system. The scripture said the world only promote and love its own. If ye were of the world... The world would love his own, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Outsiders like the indigenous black people are not accepted in the beast culture. The scripture said you are not of this world. That is why the most high choose you. Because of who you are, the beast system will reject you. The people of the most high do not belong to the world. Therefore, the beast system will hate you just like how they hate the most high. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Israelites, the beast culture welcome and accept your children that are born from the union between you and the other species of mankind. Do not believe the illusion of the other species of mankind hating these children. If they hated them, they wouldn't promote them nor accept them in the beast culture. They're trying to replace you with your biracials, quadrunes, and octoroons. Your strange children with the other species of mankind are the new black in the beast system. The spirit of these children are not of the Most High. The Most High only breathed the breath of life into the people he created in his image and likeness. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. The breath of life transferred to your children when two indigenous black people come together. When that happened, the children is made in the image of the Most High. In addition, the child is an exact duplicate of the indigenous black people. The child is not diluted with strange features. Nowhere in the scriptures did it say the Most High put his spirit into the seed of the fallen. If the Most High placed his spirit into the children of the fallen, why do he destroy them in every generation? The Most High decided to start over with one family when his people became entangled with the serpent seed. The scripture said in the book of Genesis that the Most High would not let his spirit contend with men forever. He narrowed man's life to 120 years. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. Israelites, you must understand whose image you are made of. Also, it is important for you to understand whose likeness you were created in. The Bible said the Most High is a spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. If the Most High is a spirit, the people who are made in his image and likeness are also spirits. Everything the Most High is, the indigenous black people are. The indigenous black people need to understand their uniqueness. Stop letting the self-hate, the beast system created in you via discrimination, make you lose sight of your capabilities. 
I believe the indigenous black people don't understand the power and authority they have being the people of the most high. Have you not heard that you are gods? I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. When King Saul asked the worker of iniquity who summoned a familiar spirit, what did she see? The woman said, I saw gods ascending from the earth. The book of Psalms said, the most high judge among gods. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. When the indigenous black people begin to understand their uniqueness, they will comprehend why all nations conspire against them to cut them off from being a people. The synagogue of Satan caused so much trouble to disconnect you from your Elohim. You are not only made in the image of the Most High, but also in his likeness. Just as the Most High rule, he gave his people dominion in the physical realm. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Indigenous black people, you must take back your authority and power that was rightfully given to you by the Elohim of Israel. Stop allowing the kingdom of darkness deprive you of your birthrights. The Most High has given his people power and authority over the kingdom of darkness. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. The indigenous black people are perishing from a lack of knowledge. Once they obtain wisdom and understanding, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. That is why Satan feeds you with lies and deception daily in the beast system. Israelites, only the Most High can open your eyes to allow you to see what is hidden in plain sight. The time has come for you to value yourselves. Give the Most High an opportunity to reveal who he is to you. The kingdom of the Most High is within. Stop looking into the beast system. The Most High is not there. Look within. Neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Israelites, when you allow the Most High to become your teacher, the secret things of this world and everything hidden will become known. As iniquity increases, you will need to test the spirits of the people you live among. In these last days, there are many evil spirits dwelling among us and they appear human. The evil demonic spirits are possessing the weak-minded and deceiving the world. Israelites, do not allow yourself to become a victim of the kingdom of darkness. The Most High gave you power over serpents, scorpions, and the entire kingdom of darkness. Use the power. When you know what you live among, you gain an upper hand. When you are knowledgeable, you can better equip yourself to enter the battlefield. The spiritual world is not a fairy tale. Israelites, ask the Most High to give you an eye to see and an ear to hear. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. The war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in his temple.